Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up circuits so that we can do some electronics experiments. Um, so let's jump right in. So we're going to start by taking a look at our PHET circuit, circuit simulator. Um, and I've started here by setting up a, um, a basic circuit. I'm doing the first experiment proving Ohm's law, V equals IR. So I need a battery connected to a resistor. Um, and it says to measure the voltage across the battery and across the resistor by using a voltmeter to touch the two wires on either side of the battery, then on either side of the resistor. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my circuit simulator. I have it set up. I just grabbed your standard battery and your first standard resistor. And now I need to pull a voltmeter right there um, off the side, and I'm going to pull my voltmeter and attach it one on one side of the battery and the other on the other side of the battery. And I see the voltage it reads down here is nine volts. Now I'm going to test the voltage over the resistor. So I'm going to move this one down to here and this one down to here, and I see that it reads nine volts. So I've put a nine volt battery on. There's nine volts of voltage increased over the um, battery and nine volts of voltage decreased over the resistor. Um, so I could then go into my experiment here. What do I notice about the two voltages? They are both the same. They are both nine volts. Okay, now use the voltage you found and the resistance of the resistor to calculate how much current should be expected through the circuit. All right, so for mine, um, the voltage I found was nine volts. To find the resistance of the resistor, I can click on it and it says resistance 10.0 ohms. Okay, so now I go back in here and I'm gonna use the equation V equals IR. So V equals IR. And then the next thing is plugging in my values. I had a nine volt battery equals I, which is what I'm solving for, times my resistance, which was 10 ohms. I would divide both sides by 10. So nine divided by 10 gives me a current equal to 0 0.9 amps. Um, so what? how much current should be expected through the circuit? I'm expecting 0.9 amps. For number three, it says measure the current through the circuit by detaching one connection and putting an ammeter to connect the circuit again. Make sure the ammeter is turned to 200 milliamps. All right, so I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different. Uh, actually, I could do either one. So first, there's a really easy ammeter um, where I just take this little magnifying glass thing and I put it over the, um, the current and it tells me the current and it says 0.9 amps. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I expected it to be. Um, the way that the instructions tell me to do it is to use the kind of ammeter that goes within the circuit. So the other option is I could split that, cut that, um, attach one end over here, attach the other end to the battery, and now the current goes through the ammeter. This is how a real ammeter actually works. Uh, and so now I have the current running through it and it also reads 0.9 amps and I can confirm it with this guy, it's 0.9 amps. And if I put it over on this corner, it's 0.9 amps. And if I put it over here, it's 0.9 amps. The current is the same through the entire circuit. Um, so I would go back into my answers here, make sure the ammeter is the current what you expected. Uh, yes, it's, 0.9 amps. Uh, switch out the resistor for a larger resistor. Measure the voltage across the battery and across the resistor, okay? So I'm gonna go back in here, and the nice thing is that it's really, really easy to change um, resistance on the, I just click on it, and then I move it, and I had it at 10 before, so I'm gonna jump it up to 100 ohms. I'm gonna make it 10 times bigger, just since that's a nice, easy round number. I think that'll make my math easy. Oh, can I do that? Oh, I wonder if I can just go, yep, 100. Okay, so now I've got it at 100 ohms. That looks great to me. Um, and it asks me to measure my voltage. So my voltage across the resistor is nine volts. 
I can switch it up and move it up here. And across the battery is nine volts. So I notice um, that the voltage across the battery and across the resistor are still the same, both nine volts. Use the voltage you found and the resistance of the resistor to calculate how much current should be expected. Okay, so same deal. Um, in fact, I'm just gonna copy and paste, to be honest, because I'm only changing one thing. Copy. Uh, paste V equals IR, nine volts equals current times, now I've made it 100 ohms, and when I divide by 100, I should get 0 0.09 amps. So I would expect 0 0.09 amps now, based on nine divided by 100. Measure the current. Conveniently, I left that already set up. The current reads 0 0.09 amps, or I can move this one over, and it reads 0 0.09 amps. And you'll notice that the current is still moving. It's just moving really, really, really slowly. Some might say 10 times slower since I increased the resistor by 10 times. Um, okay, do you believe that ohms is the current what I expected? Yes. Do you believe that ohms law holds? Does the voltage equal the current times the resistance even when you change the resistances? Uh, yes. It seemed to work for both resistances. Great, good job. Um, now I'm gonna move on and do the next one and I'm gonna set it up with two resistors. So I'm gonna go back in here, get rid of that guy, uh, shift this guy over here, and I'm gonna add in another resistor there. And this is getting kind of squiggly for me. So I'm gonna move these guys all out of the way. Choop. and then add a wire from the battery to my other resistor. I now have two resistors, but they're different sizes. This one, the first one is 100 ohms. The second one is 10 ohms. Um, I believe that in the instructions, it wants me to two resistors of the same resistance. So I can either make them both 100s or I could make them both tens. Um, I'm gonna choose to make them, this one's 10, so I'll make them both tens just to keep it easy. Back to 10, please. 11, do, do, 10. So now that one's 10 and that one's 10. Good, and it's running, and then I can do experiment two. All right, so I'll let you guys keep going on that. Um, but that's how you can set it up and use the voltmeter and use the ammeter to find current and voltage. Awesome. So hopefully that is helpful as you get started on these electronics experiments. And then I will post another video um, showing how to do it using the Tinkercad circuits function when you get there. Good luck.